Well, right now, city and county officials are working to clean up an area where two poisonous snakes were recently found. We originally brought you the story of the man who encountered the snakes in his backyard just a few weeks ago. Channel 5's Trace and Bragg went to find out exactly what's being done. The Mercedes Housing Authority, the City of Mercedes, and the Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1 say this cleanup effort will require coordination. Cesar Del Fuente called Channel 5's Five on your side after his wife discovered a coral snake in their backyard. Del Fuente told us that wasn't the first time. He says the snakes live in the debris behind his backyard. We approached the city, who said they are working with the county drainage district number one to fix the problem. Del Fuente says they haven't exactly done that. Del Fuente says there is still a large amount of brush for the snakes to live. He and his neighbors are still concerned for their safety. We spoke to the city of Mercedes to find out why they haven't cleared all the brush. Assistant City Manager Daniel Tirajina told us the city's equipment wasn't properly equipped for the job. He referred us to the Hidalgo County Drainage District Number 1 General Manager Raul Sassim. It's impossible to get equipment in there without having to remove the fences and everything. Sassim says the county has the correct tools but no access. The fence belongs to the City of Mercedes Housing Authority. So we spoke to Horacio Pequeño, the executive director of the Mercedes Housing Authority, to see what could be done about the fence. Yes, as far as the Housing Authority, we're committed to helping the city out, and uh, we're committed with the county. I mean, if they need access to that ditch, I mean, we're ready to, to come in and, and take down the fence so they can have access to come in and remove uh, the brush that's behind the, these units here. We were at the site when all three departments met. The leaders were able to come up with a solution. The city will start the next cleanup effort this weekend, and all parties involved agree the issue will be resolved. Del Fuente says he won't let up until the cleanup is completed. There was an agreement here, and if this agreement isn't fulfilled from what was discussed today, I will take matters into my own hands and take it up the chain of command so this ditch can get cleaned up. All three parties agree the issue will be resolved quickly. Del Fuente says he still isn't letting his children in the backyard until all of the debris is cleared. In the studio, Trace and Bragg, Channel 5 News at 6.